Ah, the life of a tortoise. These guys don't have a care in the world. They certainly don't care about Shaq eating spicy wings. Or cool looking dragon egg skins on Fortnite. Or airplane trick shots. Although that is pretty cool. But I wonder, do they care about their own appearance? On today's Ask Camp Cannon, we'll find out if these guys ever shed the thick scales on their front or back legs. Stick around for the answer. You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Ken. Hey, what's going on? Kenan here, and I've got John Adams, and he's from Modern Design Aquascaping, and we got Any Pond Limiteds, MJ, Mark. What's your last name, Mark? Wilson. All right, so Mark Wilson, he's all the way from the UK, as you can tell from his accent, uh, and we've got Hercules, and it's an Ask Camp Cannon. Uh, but we got some guests. We're going to do a video with them here in a little bit. You guys are going to be able to check out. Really excited for them to be here. Uh, but anyway, I figured why not have them around and we'll teach them something about tortoises as we're answering questions as well. So today's question comes from Alicia. That's all she wrote. She didn't give me her last name. Uh, one of our Patreon supporters. But she asked, do tortoises shed the thick scales on the front of their arms and the back of their legs? That's a very good question because so many people, guys, are asking me, hey, the tortoises shed, what's going on? And uh, well, we've got good old Hercules out here. He's still hanging out with me. And this is a sulcata tortoise, guys. So sulcata tortoises are really incredible species because their Latin name, sulcata, Geochelone sulcata, uh, basically means sculpted or furrowed or grooved. And you can really get a, uh, a sense of that from their shell. It looks like a piece of wood that has been carved. And then when we even get closer and we see the animal's auger-like scales here on his front legs, you can really see how uh, how this is a burrowing species. But on to the actual question. So, do they shed their scales? Well, they don't shed actually these furrows. Um, these are actually uh, osteoderms. These are actually bone inside of this keratin covering. So the keratin is similar to, it's a protein that makes our fingernails and hair. Uh, they have it covering their skin here. These are really, really rough. If you were to feel these folks, you'd really be able to, I mean, go ahead, John, give it a feel. Uh, both of you guys, just give them a little feel and you can just see how those are well protected. So when he pulls his wow. head in and he puts his, his arms in front of his head, there's nothing that's gonna bite through that. That's all free floating bone. The other cool thing about that is it's like an auger. When he digs, he can really scrape away soil, uh, break through roots if he's got it, depending on the thickness, and really get rid of. Now, where he will shed, and I'm gonna show you on another tortoise, is he'll shed his skin. From time to time, the skin will shed off. Uh, or, if he's sustained an injury, and actually guys, we do have a bit of an injury right here, which happens from time to time. On his back leg, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it, but let's see if I can get that camera. Maybe if I just, yeah, if we just kind of pull up the back here, maybe we can kind of see it. John, just give him, lift up the rear there, and we'll see if he'll put his foot down so we can kind of see. He had a little bit of a scrape, and what'll happen is you'll just see white, now he's not gonna extend that leg, is he? Well, maybe oh, if we put him down, he'll walk and we'll see it. Uh, but anyway, what you'll notice is sometimes if these animals get way too wet, they, they get a fungus that happens. Oh, it's almost there. They get a fungus on their skin. Up oh, there's that injury. You can kind of make it out, folks. Just a little white. So what will happen is that will start to heal up. It takes a long time. You see the white? You guys can see it now. Um, that'll start to heal up. Now that could have been from when he was in with the other tortoises and they were fighting. Uh, his shell could have pinched his leg as he was pushed back on something. So that's kind of what happens with sulcatas. They're pretty tough on each other if they're not getting along. And you guys remember the video I did. Here's actually a little missing scales here too. This will happen from time to time, but eventually um, that scar tissue will get covered over again, uh, depending on the severity of the actual injury. Here's a little, um, sh a little slothing right there. Uh, that happens from time to time. Again, guys, you know, these animals live out, uh, they live out here in the wild of my yard. 
You want a drink? Yeah, he's getting a little mm -hmm. drink out of a puddle. So that's pretty cool. So this is uh, Hercules. So this part isn't normally something that's going to actually shed. Instead, it gets the annuli or the growth rings just like the scoots of the shell. So let's look at the shell because that's another area that's actually a living thing. Most people uh, that don't know tortoises think they can just kind of jump out of their shell. That's kind ah. of an old wives tale, but it, it's actually part of their skeleton. The outer layer, the outer layer of these scoots is again made of keratin. And every time the animal grows, it throws off a tiny ring, a growth ring. Uh, you can't count these rings to tell how old they are because some years they'll get more food than other years. They're so it, they're just growth rings. Yeah, same yeah. as fish, same as the fish scales. Oh, uh, really? Talk to me about that. Is that a similar thing? It's exactly the same. It's, it's basically, it's just the growth rings. Okay, you cool. You get a pretty good idea um, from the fish's age, from, 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 but it is, it's the growth. There you go. So, and just a shout out here for MJ, uh, you know, if you guys are in the UK, uh, he's a very knowledgeable botanist, uh, water horticulturist, yeah. and uh, I've got a YouTube channel, the Pond there you go. Advisor. Shout it out, the Pond yeah. Advisor, right on, Trusted man. Trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. <laughs> there you go, and animals and fish as well. So what's going to be cool is we're going to do a video with these two guys coming up uh, where we're going to do some fun stuff with plants on my pond, but let's stay focused right here. Uh, good old Camp Kennan, the S Camp Kennan. So anyhow, with these growth rings, uh, this is a living part of the shell. Uh, some water turtles will shed pieces of their shell. Uh, the tortoises don't generally do that unless there's an injury, okay? And we've gone over some of those injuries. Let's walk over here, guys. Uh, again, it's kind of been a rainy day and he won't go too far. <laughs> right. We should be able to catch, we yeah. should be able to catch him. So uh, we're gonna look at another species of tortoise. Uh, we're gonna look at the Galapagos tortoise and these guys haven't seen them yet uh, so I think MJ is going to be pretty excited because he thought Hercules was big yeah. but those of you that watch the show know that Darwin is my biggest tortoise so again guys it's warmed up a bit so we're going to let Darwin out I'm going to ask if John wouldn't mind holding the camera gotcha. and keeping it on here this is still my high tech uh, my high tech lock um, these guys are going to be getting new new houses so i haven't really wanted to invest in anything until we start doing the new ones but let's get darwin out and i want to show you a little bit of her shedding and how she does things come on out kids come on out there's darwin so she's a big girl you can kind of poke in there but there's darwin and she's in with nostradamus today and she's starting to look back you can see if she's looking back so she'll turn around and Give her about five minutes and she'll be out. And then I'll be able to show you guys just what she's doing. Uh, let's see what Socrates is up to because that's a galop as well. Just not as big as Darwin. But I really want to, this was such a cool, come on out there, buddy. This is Socrates. Come on out, Socks. So we'll get them some outside time because it is going to be in the 70s today, albeit a little bit rainy. So what we've got here is a Galapagos tortoise and what will happen with the Galops is they do shed in here and I'm noticing there's a couple of ticks which is normal when these animals are raised up outside so what I'm going to try and do is if you peek over on the on our left you can see a tick right and so in the wild what would happen is they would let birds pick these off but instead I'm the bird I'm the dad I'm the everything I'm the waiter I do what I got to do He's, he's like, hurry up. Yes, yeah, she's annoyed because, oh, there's one. I got one off. I got you. I, I just can't stand ticks. Uh, and I squish them. I roll them in my finger and kill the ticks. Are they the same ticks that we would get? Or uh, dogs or cats? Yeah, they are, actually. They are. And so, um, this is just a regular old dog tick. Here's one. See this, guys? It is what it is. And I just squish them kill them so they don't reproduce and there's the final one good and that's just part of the maintenance it's just what i do as a tortoise dad but again you can kind of see now if you look right under this leg you'll see some of the skin just naturally shedding off and that's really how they do it so as they grow as tortoises grow some of the loose skin will shed off oh here comes our girl darwin and uh the shell itself just continues to grow i'm gonna grab this back buddy okay. so uh that's kind of how we do it and you'll see yeah mj pretty cool huh <laughs> it's it's a lot of fun here man i love i love sharing my space with these animals and i love being able to you know help you folks out and kind of give you an idea as to what to expect 
when you're keeping these animals? So Alicia, really good question. Um, so the short answer is they do shed their skin. Certain aspects of their scales, like the ones on the front of their legs, shouldn't shed unless there's some kind of injury. Uh, if they've been kept too wet, that can, they can develop a fungus that would uh, cause that to sloth off. Slew off? How do you say it? Is it sloth? Sloth off? Full. Mm -hmm. Fall off? Fall yeah, off. yeah, we'll, we'll use go. fall off. We'll go with fall. He's an Englishman. <laughs> yeah. Using the language, the Queen's English. I'm trying to be fancy in front of him and it ain't working. He's like, they fall off, kid. Anyway, uh, I love getting schooled. But anyhow, he was happy I called him mate earlier. That's for my trips to Australia. So I was hoping to show you Darwin because she's really, she sheds very nicely uh, around her neck. So uh, eventually she'll be out. So uh, I'll tell you what I'll do, folks. I'll uh, make sure that we got some B-roll for you to look at Darwin of her neck and how uh, the, sh the skin sheds off. In the meantime, thank you so much. I want to thank the guys, John Adams and Mark. Uh, thanks oh, for having me. Mark yeah. Wilson. Mark Wilson. Or oh, MJ. MJ. That's MJ. We love him. He's uh, already endeared himself to us here at the camp. So uh, we're having fun with those guys. Be on the lookout for a video all about pond plants and some cool carnivorous plants that John Adams brought down. We're gonna be doing that video. Uh, but thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, hey man, head on over to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan if you wanna ask a question and have it answered right here on the channel. So thanks so much for your support everybody. And uh, again, don't forget, I'm gonna leave you with a little uh, shedded skin from Darwin. All right guys, see you soon. Up, and this is a larger tortoise. Up, there was a little head there that I poked. Let's see, do you guys know what it is? Just by looking.